Hazrat Ishak, A.S. known in English as Isaac, is a significant figure in Abrahamic religions, particularly in Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. His life story is primarily derived from religious texts, including the Quran in Islam and the Bible in Christianity. Here is a brief overview of Hazrat Ishak's life. Hazrat Ishak, A.S.S., was the son of Hazrat Ibrahim, A.S. Abraham, and Hazrat Sarah, A.S. According to the Quran, Ibrahim and Sarah were blessed with Ishak in their old age, and his birth was considered a miracle. The Quran mentions that Allah blessed Hazrat Ishak with a righteous son named Yaqub, Jacob, Ishak, married Rebecca, Rivka, and they had two sons, Esau, Esav, and Yaqub. Jacob, the story of the rivalry between Esau and Jacob, is well known in biblical and quantic narrative. Like his father, Ibrahim, Hazrat Ishak received divine promises and prophecies. Allah granted him and his descendants blessings and guidance. The covenant made with Ibrahim continued through Ishak and later through his son Yaakov. The Quran recounts a period of famine during Hazrat Ishak's life. To seek sustenance and fulfill Allah's plan, Ishak and his family migrated to the land of Gerar. During their migration, Allah protected them and ensured their well-being. Though Hazrat Ishak is not explicitly mentioned as a prophet in the Quran, he is regarded as a righteous and honorable figure who played a crucial role in carrying forward the Abrahamic covenant. The prophethood is emphasized more in the stories of his father, Hazrat Ibrahim, and his son, Hazrat Yaqub. The legacy of Hazrat Ishak is continued through his son Yaqub, who is also known as Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel, as mentioned in the Bible, trace their lineage back to Yaqub, who inherited the covenant from his father Ishak and grandfather Ibrahim. In Islamic tradition, Hazrat Ishak is revered as a prophet and a key figure in the chain of prophethood. His life story serves as a source of moral and spiritual lessons for believers. It's important to note that variations may exist between Islamic and Judeo-Christian perspectives on these narratives.